Hey folks, this is Jimmy here in Strange, Vermont. I'm going to show you this piece of white quartz in the wall here. It's one stone right there. And it's a walkway through the wall. There's a step. You walk down that way. Made of a huge piece of quartz. So as you walk through the wall, you'd step on that white quartz. Pretty cool. It's amazing how this wall was never touched. And mostly because it was for the last, ooh, since the 1840s, I believe, was a dairy farm. Before that, a sheep farm. And they never really did crops on it. They did, uh, they grew um, hay up here, hay grass, and hay grass you just cut, you don't, you don't plow it, and that would have been all out there. And the field out front, which is about a four acre field, was all cleared, I believe, for uh, thousands of years. I found ancient tools out there for... Um, digging and cutting grass and grinding food and things like that. But you can notice all the stones here, all these white quartz stones in the wall. There's the big one there. Then you have this walkway. And I think all this travel through here was because this was a special spot. This is a natural bedrock I'm on. And this is a special spot down here. Donnie's on the niche right now. It's enclosed in this area. It could have been all closed in and covered up at one time. You can see how it extends from the wall into this area. Like this. And it's open-ended out there. There's some campsites down there. You can see that one there. Up there was, I guess, where they did a lot of their agriculture. And back here is the mound site, right there. It's interesting how they use the white quartz, though. Um, you find that in this part of the country. There's a lot of hollows in this wall, a lot of chambers. You can see in there. Um, I found things in these walls, um, quite a lot of stuff actually. This wall continues, and it's a pretty long wall, it's a few hundred meters long. I mean, this, it just keeps going, and going, I mean, there's, there's tons and tons of stone put on this wall, and it's, it had to be cleared, the ledge had to be cleared to put the foundation stones on and um, set the stage for a wall that is pretty strong and long lasting. And you can see how they built it. Oh, we're looking into the sun, that's not too good. I'll get on the other side. All these huge stones layered and layered and layered. Big stones on the bottom. And every so often a very large bedrock stone. There's one there. Big flat one. There's one there. There's one sticking out right there. And there's a big quartz. There's a big quartz right there. There's a huge stone placed on the wall. It's very big. If you continue down, you get to this natural ledge here. 
And on top of it is the serpent head, part of the wall. And let's see if we can see it. Now, Zoro's looking face to face with the serpent head. That's it right there. Sitting on the ledge. Can you imagine bringing this piece of bedrock up? Placing it up here? It's probably an eight foot long piece of bedrock. This one's large too. And see how the stones look like they should fall down? But they don't. The way they're placed in. It's quite amazing. I like this cliff. This is the back of the spiral. The other side, it's the spiral. This is the back of it. And if Donnie would move, it's got some interesting stonework in it. On the other side is the spiral. And you can see how neatly they're placed and how well placed they are. Get up there, Donnie. Go ahead. In the ledge. Nice shot of it tonight. But you can see the stone wall just continues on. Just continues. Continues. Goes that way. To the north. And it begins in a well. In a spring. Look how that rock is set up on there. The end of that boulder. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. Let's see if I can get up on it. And they put larger stones on top, lined them up to hold everything down. And just look at the amount of stone. If you were put this, put all the stone into the back of dump trucks, it would be a lot of dump trucks full of stone to lift up here and put on this mountain. Farmers did not do this. And a lot of the stones have been worked and a lot of quartz artifacts were found in this wall. Um, lots of them. This is a strange part of the wall. It looks like it was pushed over at one time. Although this whole section is a trench. And it looks like it was a trench and it was placed, all these stones were placed here. Um... It's hard to tell because of the leaf on it, but it's a deep trench. And the stones seem to be laid on it. And there's a box structure over here inside this trench. Under these leaves, there's a box structure and placed stones and there's flat stone under it and under that. I don't know where it leads to because I haven't taken it apart, but it seems like a grave to me because of the headstone, the white headstone up here. And that's what I call it. That stone right there placed at the front of this rectangle comes out of the wall, goes this way. You can see it pretty good from here. See how the stones are laid? And I think it's a hollow chamber under it. Um, I've checked on it before and looked at it pretty close. 
And it seems like there's something under here that's being protected by all these stones. And there's the headstone right there. Big piece of quartz. Very cool. Sun's going down here on Paleo Mountain. That's where the garden goes in this year. That's where all my vegetables and my corn. If it does, if it stops snowing, I'll do that. We had snow yesterday. Thank you for watching. This is Jimmy here on Strange Vermont on Paleo Mountain with the stone walls of New England.